Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got an awesome project for you today. We're calling this quilt Butterfly Blossoms. Look at that, isn't that pretty? It has kind of this butterfly shape to it and also comes together as a flower as well. So we thought Butterfly Blossoms was good and it's just such a fun, quick project. You're gonna really enjoy it. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need are two packs of print. We've used Mariposa Meadow by Elizabeth Isles for uh, Studio E. And when I'm talking about two packs, I'm talking about each pack has 42 squares and they're five inches. You're also going to need the same amount of background squares and we've used white. You're going to need three quarters of a yard for this sashing right here. And this outer border is a yard and a half and we've put a nice big fat eight inch border on there. Now, if you want to back your quilt in the same fabrics, it takes, um, let's see, three and a half yards. And look at this, isn't this gorgeous? It's just so pretty. I have a little granddaughter who, who's gonna love that. Um, you're gonna need a template. This is our periwinkle template. And you're gonna need a glue stick. Glue stick's optional. Um, I like to use it. So let, so let me show you how to make this because this is just such a fun, quick quilt. You're gonna take your five inch square and we're gonna lay our periwinkle template on it. We're gonna line up the corner right here on the edge with the fabric. And then we're gonna trim this side off. So we're just trimming this back side right here. And I'm just going to flip this around. This is where one of those uh, uh, rotating mats comes in very handy. We're going to trim this side off and go ahead and trim your end off as well. So you'll get a piece that looks just like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to our iron and we are going to iron this edge under right here. Now you can do um, raw edge applique if you want but I liked it turned under. I just like the idea of it. You know, sometimes it, it just makes fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna iron this edge down a quarter of an inch and this edge down a quarter of an inch. And I'm just gonna finger press them so when I get there, it'll be easier. This little end right here at the bottom, it's easy just to fold that up. Can you see right there how I have that folded like just a little quarter of an inch? Then these two pieces will fold over to, to greet it. So we'll have a nice little, nice little point there on the bottom. So let's go to the ironing board and we're gonna, we're gonna press this down to make sure that it just stays nice and flat. It is handy to go ahead and finger press them down before you get here so that you make sure that it lays down really nice. Alrighty. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our background square and we're gonna line this up right on the corner, just like this. So this part, we don't need to stitch down because it's going to, it just, it's gonna be enclosed in the seam. And this part, we're going to want to do our little uh, blanket stitch or a little zigzag. Now I have one here that has a tiny little zigzag on it and you can barely see that. So that's, a, that's kind of a good idea. The other way we've done it here is we've used our blanket stitch right here to go right along the edge, right like that. So let's talk about this blanket stitch for a minute. What you wanna do is you wanna find on your machine which, what stitch it is. On my machine, it happens to be um, number 29. And so what you wanna do with this is you wanna take a piece of fabric and just set up your blanket stitch and then sew it and see if it takes the size of the bite you want. And by the bite, I mean the part that comes over and grabs the fabric. So let me sew this down and then I'll get over there to the camera where you can see it really good. All right. So this is the stitch I'm talking about right here. See how nice that looks? Now, if you wanna increase your bite, that's your width button on your stitches. So you'll just wanna catch that. So let's sew this down over here. Actually, to help this, really, to help this a lot, I'm gonna put a line of glue right here. And then I'm just gonna lay this on here. And that, literally, it's gonna go nowhere. And you don't have to fuss with it. You know, once you get it on here, you don't have to pin it or anything like that. It'll just lay on there and be nice and glued. All right, so let's go down the side, just like this. We're only going down two sides. Now I'm gonna line my presser foot uh, so that my needle comes right along the edge. And I'm just gonna sail down this side the fun thing about this is because we use the glue stick and we're enclosing the other side in a seam, we don't actually have to, only, we only sew two sides. There we go. Now I'm right at the point and I'm gonna maybe take one more stitch. You might wanna do this by hand 
because you want it to come right down the other side. And you're just going to do this to all your pieces. Alrighty. So let's take a look at this one and see how we did. Gosh, you know, that looks pretty good. All right, so take a look at that. And this is what we're looking for. We're looking for it just to be stitched on the sides. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put four of these together. So let's take a look. I've got a couple sewn together here. And I've got this guy. And what we're gonna do is our block goes together with the points to the center, just like this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two together and so a quarter of an inch down the side. You're gonna to have to remember to readjust your, uh, your seam because you want it to, you want the, just the quarter of an inch, not the blanket stitch for this part. And so, there we go, quarter of an inch. And we're gonna sew right down the side. All right, so once you get your quarter of an inch seam done, You'll bring it over here and we're going to sew these two together. Remember your points come to the middle. So then we're just going to sew this together like a four patch. Now right here I'm making my seams nest to either side. So you make sure that this is snugged right up there. Now it's not going to matter too much because the backgrounds are all white. But you know do the best you can. Uh, but it, it's not one of those blocks where it's really going to show. But if your quarter inch seams are fairly consistent, you know, it should work out pretty good for you. Alrighty, so there we go. There's our little four patch together. I'm gonna bring it over here and press it really quick. And I press from the top to make sure it's nice and flat. And then I'm gonna roll it over and make my seams go the way I want to. Alrighty. So there you have it right there, that's the block and you're gonna make lots of blocks like this and you're gonna put them together with a sashing row. So in between every row, you're gonna put this little sashing. Your sashing is gonna be the same width as your block. So you'll cut your, your one and a half inch strips, that's a one and a half inch sashing strip, like this, and you'll put your blocks down. So here's, here's how our row, now we have one, two, three, four blocks across. And you can see this is the block. You can see your sashing right in between them. And then you're gonna bring in a sashing row like this. Your sashing rows are all inch and a half and your little corner stones, these little stones right here, those are also inch and a half stones. Now I took those out of the border yardage and so you'll cut a one and a half inch strip and you're gonna get all your little, your little corner stones out of that one strip. And so it's just real easy to do. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna pretend we've sewn these together like this. So it makes our little strip like that. And we'll slide this one under here so you can see a little bit how this is gonna look. Because when we bring in that next uh, inch and a half strip with the cornerstones in them, it's gonna go right here. It's just gonna line up right underneath there, just like that. And then again, you're gonna have your next row with your little sashing strips already sewn together, and it's gonna go right here. I can bring these down here if this is gonna make more sense to you. So just like that. Do you see? You see what I'm talking about here? And so you're gonna have four in a row, and you're gonna have five down, five rows down. And it's just gonna make this awesome quilt. It brings it together. You know, this is your block, but it brings it together so it looks like the block is right here. And I love it when that happens because it's kind of like an illusion. So this has been a really fun quilt to make. I love when we can do different things with our templates because if a template can do one thing, that's great. But if it does a lot of things, then it becomes a valuable tool. And I do a lot of things with this, with this periwinkle template. I really like it. When this all comes together, it's gonna to make a quilt that is 56 by 66. So it's a great size quilt. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Butterfly Blossoms Quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.